Well, hey, everyone. God bless you. It's Fred Kropp coming to you from the Healing Rooms Apostolic Center here in Santa Maria, California. And we're in a series of messages on how to run the race in 2022 and win. Come on. God wants you to win in 2022. And so I've been talking about things that you're, you need if you're going to run the race and win in 2022. And right now I'm in part three of one of the main things, the number one thing that you and I need to run the race, and that is wisdom. Can you say wisdom? I need wisdom. And so the Bible tells us that wisdom is the principal thing and that we, in all our getting and everything we get, we need to get wisdom. Uh, and so there are many promises. In this session, I want to talk to you about the promises, the power, and the protection of wisdom. The promises, the power, and the protection of wisdom. How many of you could use some promises being, uh, you know, manifest in your life and activate in your life? How many could use some power in your life? Or how many could use some protection in your walk with Jesus? Come on, we're all in that same situation. And so uh, I want to read a passage of Scripture, and uh, I, then I want to pray, and let, we'll go right into some of the promises, the power, and the protection of wisdom. Would you just join with me? If you're joining with me on Facebook right now, make sure you click share. Make sure I'll leave a link for my YouTube page where you can get this whole series of messages uh, there. You can go, when you go there, click the bell. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you won't miss any of these messages. So let me just give you Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. Here's what... King Solomon, who was at in his lifetime, was the wisest man on earth. And this Bible says there was no king before him and no king like him, of course, until King Jesus showed up on the planet. So here's what Solomon, the wisest man in the world, said. He said, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and all you're getting, get understanding. So here he's talking about that wisdom is the primary thing that you need for life and to be successful in life. So I want to talk to you about some of the promises and the, some of the protection, what the Bible says about wisdom protecting us and what the wisdom, Bible says about wisdom giving us power. And so I want to first start off by talking about how many of you would like to be blessed all through 2021 and have favor on your life? Well, here's the amazing thing, and that is that wisdom brings God's blessing and God's favor on your life. That's Proverbs 3 and verse 13. It says, how blessed is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding. Uh, the Bible says in Proverbs 8, verse 35, it says, for whoever finds me, talking about wisdom, obtains favor from the Lord. Proverbs 4 8 tells us that if we get wisdom, it'll exalt us. And if we embrace her, that will bring honor into our life. So here we have if you gain wisdom, if you grow in wisdom, if you walk in wisdom in 2022, and I believe that's God's will, what God is saying to us in 2022, He wants the body of Christ, which includes you and me, to walk in wisdom in 2022. If we'll do that, then wisdom will bring God's blessing and favor on our life. Certainly did with King Solomon. We can see that when he got wisdom, he asked God for wisdom, then favor and blessing came on him. He was he was the, the richest man probably of all history. Uh, he had a net worth of $2.1 trillion. Come on, that's, that's pretty amazing. Here's another thing, and that is another blessing uh, and, pro and promise of wisdom, and that is that wisdom will cause you to win in life. That's what we're talking about in this series. Proverbs 4, 9 says this, she, talking about wisdom, will place on your head a garland. She will bestow on you a beautiful crown. Now, a garland, which I mentioned in last session, is that uh, that when you run a race, you know, thousands of years ago, uh, they would have races like our Olympics, and whoever won the race would get this like small wreath or a garland that would be put on their head, showing that they were the victor of the race. And so Bible says that if we walk in wisdom, wisdom will cause us to win 
in life. Proverbs 3, 13 and 14 says, blessed is the one who finds wisdom and the one who gets understanding for the gain uh, for the gain from her or wisdom is better than the gain of silver and the better than the profit of gold. So if you want to win in 2022, wisdom is your friend. Come on, wisdom is the key for that. Another thing, another promise and blessing of wisdom is that wisdom will cause you to live longer. Now, how many of you would like to live long in life? Come on. And, and not just live it, but actually enjoy the life you're living. Well, here's what Proverbs chapter 3, verse 14 to 16 says. It says this, long life is in her right hand, and in her left hand are riches and honor. That's right. Long life is in the right hand of wisdom. So when we walk in wisdom, the, one of the main promises is that we're going to live a long life. Proverbs 9 verses 10 and 11 says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For by me, by wisdom, your days will be multiplied and years of life will be added to you. So if you're into, I want to live a long, full life, a long, complete life, not have a short life. Listen, when you, the Bible contrasts wisdom and fools, Fools are going to live a short life, but God has a wants you to have a long, full life. And the key to that is that if you have wisdom, you're going to live a long life. Here's another thing, and that is wisdom will protect you. And that's one of the things I'm wanting to share with you today. Those of you that are joining me on Facebook, I'm talking about the promise or the blessing, uh, the protection, and the power of wisdom. If you have uh, wisdom in your life, you're going to have, you're going to have blessings, favor, you're going to have uh, protection, and you're going to have power uh, in your life. So here we talk about, uh, I'm going to talk to you about wisdom will protect you. Well, that's kind of just a no brainer, isn't it? In some ways, uh, obviously, if you uh, walk in wisdom, you're going to avoid a lot of pitfalls that could be harmful to you. In fact, Proverbs chapter four, verse six says, do not forsake wisdom for she will guard you, love her, and she will watch over you. Uh, here's another one, it's real interesting. Uh, Proverbs 2.16, uh, this is the New Living Testament, says wisdom will save you from the immoral woman and from the seductive words uh, of, 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 of the promiscuous woman. And so uh, wisdom will keep you from following the Bible. In fact, there are several long passages uh, in Proverbs that talk about uh, avoiding uh, adultery, avoiding uh, fornication, avoiding falling into the arms of an immoral woman. It says her door or her ways are the gates of hell. And so wisdom will protect you from the immoral woman and from seductive words of a promiscuous woman. So if you want protection, then what you want first, in order to have protection, you need wisdom. Wisdom will protect you. Uh, in Proverbs 28, verse 26, he who trusts in his own heart is a fool, but he who walks wisely will be delivered. So wisdom will deliver you from the traps that the devil has set up for you. Come on, that's why the Bible says so much about we need to ask God for wisdom. It tells us in Colossians that we be filled with the knowledge of his will, with all wisdom and, uh, and spiritual understanding. So wisdom will protect you. Uh, here's Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 12. It says this, for wisdom is protection just as money is protection. And so... Uh, it tells, goes on to say that wisdom preserves the lives of its possessors. So again, here, if you want protection, and I'm sure every one of you right now uh, don't want you to say, uh, you, nobody's out there saying, you know what, I just want to go through life with no protection in my life. No, you're saying right now, you know what, I need protection. Well, wisdom brings protection in your life. Now, here's another interesting thing, and that is wisdom will cause you to love life. You know, sometimes we're living and you could say, maybe some of you right now are saying, you know, yeah, I'm living life, but I'm sure not loving it. Well, wisdom will cause you to love life. When you have wisdom, Proverbs 19, verse 8 says, the one who gets wisdom loves life. 
And it goes on to say, the one who cherishes understanding will soon prosper. So if you want to love life, the key to loving life is wisdom, is to have wisdom in your life. Here's another thing, and that is wisdom will bring a reward to you. Proverbs 9 verse 12 says, if you're wise, your wisdom will reward you. Come on. But if you're a mocker, you alone will suffer. So if you're wise, wisdom has a reward for you. And so if we're going to run the race in 2022 and win this race, uh, and we want to get a reward in our life, and I believe that it's eternal rewards and even rewards in this life come as we walk in wisdom. Those of you that are joining me on Facebook right now, I'm talking about how to run the race and win in life, and I'm talking about uh, the promises and the protection and the power of wisdom. These things, if you want to run the race and win in 2022, what you need is wisdom in your life. My last session, by the way, I explained what is wisdom. So if you say, well, you're just joining me for the first time, and I don't know what wisdom is, you can go back to my last video, uh, and you can watch it. You can watch it on my YouTube channel, which is Fred, uh, which is Fred Crop K R O P P on YouTube, and you can go there and you'll see posted the last session that I posted, which is what is wisdom. So here it is: wisdom will reward you. Make sure you click share again, and make sure you go to my YouTube channel and you subscribe and you click on the bell so you won't miss any of the these messages. So here's another interesting thing: did you know that wisdom? will empower you to build your life, to build your marriage, to build your business, and to build your ministry if you have a ministry. In Proverbs 14, 1, it says, it says this. It says, the wise woman builds her house, but the foolish, foolish woman tears it down with her own hands. The wise woman builds her house. And then Proverbs 24, which is one of my favorite verses of Scripture in Proverbs, it says this, by wisdom, a house is built, and by understanding, it's established and by knowledge, the rooms are filled with precious and pleasant riches. So I'm sure if you're watching this video, you want to build your life. You want to build your marriage. If you have a business, you want to build your business. Uh, if you have a ministry, you want to build your biz ministry. And the key to it is, is that wisdom will cause you to build those things so that they are founded on the rock, Jesus Christ, and you're going to have something that you, you can look at and say, you know, through wisdom, I was able to build my life. I was able to build my family. I was able to build my, my ministry. Another thing about uh, wisdom is that wisdom will make you patient and careful with your words. Do you know that the Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat the fruit thereof? In other words, the, the, you, the Bible is clear about our tongue or our words lead the way in our life. And it, it says you can either, it's either going to produce death or life. Uh, and so what I say about, about your mouth is that you're going to eat the words that you speak. In other words, if you speak it, you're going to eat it. So if you don't like what you're eating, the, cool, the great thing is that you can change what you're saying. Now, the interesting thing about wisdom is wisdom thinks before it talks. It, that wisdom is patient tells us this in Proverbs 19, verse 11. It says, a, person, a person's wisdom yields patience. And then in Proverbs 10, verse 19, it says, when there are many words, transgression or sin is unavoidable, but he who restrains his lips is wise. So one of the things about wisdom, and that's one of the things I, reasons I love wisdom, because I was a guy that, you know, for, for many years, I just said a lot of things. I said whatever came to my mind, and sometimes it was very hurtful to people, or it was negative, or it was self-condemning, and I had all these words. But as through the years, I've said, God, give me wisdom. That's one of my daily prayers. Lord, fill me with wisdom and knowledge and understanding. As I prayed for wisdom, what I've noticed is that what I say has changed. I may start to think of something that I would say that isn't going to be edifying or isn't going to be the best for speaking in my own life. Then guess what? Wisdom kicks in and wisdom makes me patient in my speaking. And so the Bible actually says in James, it says, be quick to hear, slow to speak and slow to anger. It says, for the anger of man does not accomplish the will of God. So if you've got an anger issue, 
that actually at the root of it, you need to say, God, give me wisdom that will produce patience in my life. Now, I've talked about the idea that wisdom has many promises and many blessings. I've talked about the idea that wisdom will protect you. And now I want to talk about that wisdom will make you strong. How many of you, you, you know, there's a scripture in Ephesians chapter 6 that says, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. And, you know, as we run the race through 2022, uh, how how much we're going to win is going to base, be based on our strength. And I'm not just talking about physical strength or just mental strength, but I'm talking about spiritual strength. And that's why Paul says, again, in Ephesians chapter 6, he says, we're in a war where he says, we're not fighting against you know, flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and forces of wickedness in the heavenly place. Now, how are you going to defeat those attacks of the enemy? How are you going to defeat uh, the, the strong forces that would come against you that are supernatural uh, angels and demons and so on? Well, I'll tell you how you're going to de de defeat them, and that is you're going to have wisdom that con you know counters whatever they're throwing your way. See, the wisdom is going to be like that shield of faith it talks about in Ephesians chapter 6. It says where you squelch all the fiery darts of the enemy. So wisdom will make you strong. How many of you want to be strong in the Lord? Wisdom will make you strong. Here's what it says. Proverbs 24, verse 5, it says, A wise man is strong, and a man of knowledge increases power. Let me read that one to you again. Proverbs 24, verse 5, A wise man is strong, and a man of knowledge increases power. Ecclesiastes seven nineteen says, Wisdom strengthens the wise more than 10 rulers of a city. And so if you want to be strong, and especially strong in the battle of as we battle through 2022, yes, we're going to run the race, we're going to win the prize, but you know what? There's going to be a resistance. There's going to be a, a, an enemy that's going to come to try to condemn you and attack you and, and hold you back. But you know what? If you have wisdom, you're going to outsmart them every single time. And so real interesting verse in Ecclesiastes uh, actually, first, in Proverbs 24, 6, listen to this. For by wise guidance, you will wage war. And by the abundance of counselors, there is victory. And that's, by the way, we'll talk about in the next session where I'm going to be talking about how do you get wisdom? How do you grow in wisdom? So uh, by wise guidance, you will wage war. And the abundance of counselors, there is victory. So here's talking about a battle. And, the, and listen, uh, when battles are won in wars, it isn't just the guys that are on the front lines that are shooting the bullets and, you know, sent, dropping the bombs. It's the generals and their wisdom to know how to come against the enemy and how to defeat him every time. And so here it says, by wise guidance, you will wage war. Here's an interesting verse in Ecclesiastes 9.18. It says, wisdom is better than weapons of war. Wow, that's powerful, isn't it? Wisdom is better than weapons. Listen, wisdom is a weapon against the enemy. Now, another thing I discovered about the blessings of wisdom is wisdom will give you hope for your future. How many of you would like to have some hope in 2022? You know, the Bible says, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, which means faith, before you can have faith, you've got to have hope. And so the Bible tells us that wisdom will give us hope for the future. It's Proverbs 24, verses 13 and 14. It says this, my son eat, here's what it says, my son eat honey for his good. Yes, the honey from the comb is sweet to your taste. No, like honey, wisdom is thus for your soul. In other words, as honey is good for you and to your taste, so wisdom is good for your soul. If you find it, then there will be a future and your hope will not be cut off. Did you hear what it says? It says that when you find wisdom, it will there will be a future for you and you will have hope for the future. Here's another thing that I want to say about it, and that is about wisdom, and that wisdom, wisdom will enable you to make the most of every opportunity that comes your way. And one version says that making the most of the time. So uh, the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter five that we are to redeem the time for the days are evil. So you can either waste your time 
And listen, if you're going to win the race and you're going to win the prize in 2022, you have to do something about your time. You have to determine what am I going to give my time, energy, money, talents to? Where am I going to invest my time? Time is the one commodity that all people on the earth have the same amount. You and I have the same amount of time. We all have 24 hours in a day. Uh, we all have 365 days in a year, right? And so we have time. Now, how you use your time is going to be critical to how you finish the race in 2022. And so the Bible says that wisdom will help us to make the most of our time or make the most of every opportunity that comes our way. So we're all going to have some opportunities coming our way in 2022. Whether or not you seize and act on those opportunities is based on wisdom. Listen to this. Paul writes in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15 and 16, he says, Be careful then how you live, not as unwise, but wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. I guess we could all confirm that we're living in some evil days. So here we are, we're in the midst of these evil days and we don't, you don't always know what to do, who's right, who's wrong, who do we listen to? Uh, should we listen to this news station, this news station, to this person or that person? But the Bible says that if you have wisdom, then you're going to make the most of every opportunity. That in the midst of Listen, there's examples in the Bible of people who had wisdom, like Daniel, like Joseph, and others in the Bible, who, when things were going bad in, all around them, when they were having great difficulties and great conflicts, they always won. Why? Because they had wisdom, and they were able to make the most of every day, make the most of every opportunity. So there are going to be opportunities coming in 2022 whether or not you lay hold of those and make the most out, lay hold of them and make most out of them is based on you acquiring wisdom. Finally, the last thing I want to say about wisdom is, say, you know, how many of you say, would say, I want to please God. I, I, I want to be pleasing to God. Now, God loves you. He's for you. He's not against you. Uh, but there is a pleasing of God as we live through our life. Uh, but here's the interesting thing. It's wisdom that will cause you to please our Heavenly Father, right? I'm sure everyone listening to me right now, you want to please God. Here's what Proverbs 29, verse 3, 29, 3 says, A man who loves wisdom makes his father glad. A man who loves wisdom makes his father glad. Now, I know it's talking about a physical father there, but I believe that it's also referring to our spiritual father. Do you know that you're a child of God, that God is your father? That's right. That's what that Jesus came to introduce and show us the father and bring us into relationship with the father. And so as, you know, I think all sons and daughters want to please their dad. So if we want to please God, the key to it is if we love wisdom, it will make our heavenly father glad. In Colossians chapter 1, verses 9 and 10, Paul writes a prayer in there and this is a prayer that I pray almost every day. And here's what Paul writes in the prayer. He says, and so from the day we heard, heard about the Colossian church, he said, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Did you catch that? If he says, I, I'm praying for you that you will be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding so that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him. So wisdom pleases God. That's right. Wisdom really pleases when we, God wants us to walk in it. The Bible says that Jesus has become unto us wisdom from God, righteousness, and, res, and, 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 and resurrection. I'm, I'm getting that wrong. Jesus has become righteousness unto us and redemption, so on, and wisdom. And so here he is. Uh, if we want to be successful in 2022, what we need to do is to walk in wisdom. Now, I want to just kind of forward here a little bit into the next session. In the next session, I'm going to be talking to you about how the ways that we 
gain wisdom or how we grow in wisdom or how we receive wisdom. Where does wisdom come from? How do we, how do we get it? You're, you're probably at this point in time saying, you know what? I want to go through 2022 and I want to walk in wisdom. I want to be filled with wisdom because wisdom is the primary thing. And so what I've just laid out to you, those of you who are joining me here on Facebook, I've just talked about the promises or the blessings, the protection and the power of wisdom. How many of you would like in 2022 to have the blessing and favor of God, to have the protection of God, and to have the power you need to run the race successfully in 2022? Well, it all gets back to having wisdom. Come on. Wisdom is the key thing, uh, King Solomon said, and all you're getting, get wisdom. So in the next session, I'm going to talk to you about how do you get wisdom. So I want to pray for you in just a moment, but before I uh, I pray for you, I want to just tell you about us. I'm just asking you for your prayers for myself and Pam, my wife, Pam, wonderful, beautiful wife. Uh, I want to just ask you to be praying for us because in this year, in 2022, probably starting around May, we're going to start traveling out and going to different places in the United States and maybe even some places around the world uh, to strengthen churches and to strengthen young pastors and and young leaders in the Lord, new churches. We want to be a blessing. We want to help and so on. And so I'd appreciate your prayers for us. Also, I'll just tell you a little secret coming up that I just finished writing a book uh, and it's called One Simple Act of Obedience and it's going to be published uh, this next year. And, uh, and so pray for my book. I've just finished it. I'm just getting it all ready to send to the publishers. I've actually signed a contract with Trinity Broadcasting Network to publish my book. So if you pray about that, my book is going to be designed to help you manifest and demonstrate the kingdom of God in your life every single day and make an eternal difference and actually be the miracle that your neighbor's waiting for. Be the miracle that the people that you're around are looking for. So if you would pray about, one, our travels coming up, and number two, pray about my book getting I'm just on the final stages of getting it all in the order that they want it, and they're going to be sending it off, and then it's going to take a few months before they get it published. So I appreciate your prayers on both of those. And another thing, if you have any prayers or questions, you can email me at fcrop1948 at gmail.com. That's fcrop, K-R-O-P-P, 1948 at gmail.com. Com. I'll leave it there. And also make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you get there, click the bell so you won't miss any of them. And, and, li and like the, the channel as well. If you like the channel, it'll get the word out to more people. Well, I want to pray for you. I'm sure you want the blessings, the protection, and the power of wisdom. And so I'm going to pray. And I believe that as we go on in this next session, where I'm going to talk about how do you get wisdom or how do you get more wisdom? in your life. So let me pray for you. Father, I thank you again uh, for your love for us, that you're our heavenly father, and every father wants his child to walk in wisdom, not just to please you because of all the blessings and the protection and the power of wisdom to be activated in our life so that when we go through 2022, we're going to go through winning and not losing. And so, God, I pray for everyone there. I believe that there's a, a word of wisdom for each and every one of the, those that are watching right now, that 2022 is going to be different because you are going to walk in wisdom in 2022. So, Father, I pray that there would be a stirring up and a hunger and a desire. I want to, every day, I'm going to ask God, give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. I'm going to ask that in Jesus' name. So I pray a blessing on those. If there's a need in their life, whether it's healing, deliverance, freedom, blessing, finances, marriage, kids, whatever it is, I pray if they need to be set free, I thank you that wisdom will break yokes in our life and chains in our life. And so I pray for the power of your spirit to go out right now and touch people's lives in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Can you say amen to that? Well, listen, this is the end of this session, and I just want you to know, as I always do every single time, and that is that God the Father loves you, Jesus loves you, and I love you. Be blessed, my brothers and sisters.